All right, good to see you this morning. Oh. Ah. That wasn't good. Might have sent y'all for a ride. All right, are we back? Are we good? <laughs> yeah. I'm watching it on the video now. Woo! There you go. <laughs> Hope God didn't get sick. Amen. All right. We're listening to Sound Doctrine this morning. We'll let y'all get online. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I need an extra drink of coffee this morning. Oh, my, my, my. <laughs> All right, this song now that is coming up is called It'll Be a Different Story. Uh, this is one of my favorite songs that, great, <laughs> that Sound Doctrine do. Uh, We're letting folks get online here. All right, Brother Adam, we'll sure do that. We've got him on our prayer list. We prayed for the family last night. Amen. It's going to be a different story. Amen. All right. Let's take that down. All right. We'll close that down for now. Good to see everybody this morning. We're glad that you're here. Glad that you're with us. We've got a friend with us this morning. Look at there. Yeah. Uh, that friend that we'll be seeing a little bit more of uh, of our friend here. I think we're going to call him, uh, uh, well, I don't know, probably number 99. Anyway, anyway, that, that's our sheep there. Uh, he'll be, it, they'll be visiting with us for our Bible Club Day Saturday. So they thought they, thought they wanted to sit in a little bit and uh, be with us and get to see everybody this morning. We're glad that you're with us. Uh, we're glad that you're choosing to, to join in. He may jump off there in a little bit, so we'll try to be careful. Uh, boy, I thought we had a good day yesterday. Had a good had a good uh, service last night. Uh, enjoyed ourselves. We had uh, a good crowd, good a good number uh, for a Wednesday night. We had a good group online. Uh, we had good prayer time. Uh, we had a number of prayer requests last night, uh, yesterday, uh, on our prayer list. And I, we're not going to go through every one today, but if you want to get that full list. Uh, if you'll go back and look at it on, on Facebook, well, I hadn't put it on YouTube yet. I'll upload that here in a minute uh, to YouTube. You can watch it there as well. Uh, so you can go back and you can see that, uh, the complete list uh, of our prayer requests that we did last night. All right, we're getting geared up and getting ready for Saturday for our Bible Club. Uh, so we're excited about that. 10 to 2, if you're able to be with us, we'll, we'll, be, we'll be here. We're going to have just crafts and games and skits and uh, Bible lessons and you know, just the whole thing. Uh, so we'll do that Saturday. We're looking forward to a good time, uh, good fun there. Prayer requests. Let's, well, I'm going to mention a couple just because there are some that, that we need to. Uh, is that Mary's little? Well, it could be, I guess. Uh, I don't know. I'm just. Uh, uh, no, I, uh, I can't say that. All right. Uh, but you do remember our prayer requests. A couple we want to mention. Do remember uh, Mr. Ernie Johnson. Uh, continue to pray for him uh, and and uh, his wife, Miss Barbara. Uh, I know they'd appreciate that. Uh, Miss Emma did ask for an unspoken prayer, prayer prayer request yesterday. We want to remember her as well. Mentioned several yesterday that we know now that are and that do have COVID nineteen. So you pray for them. Uh, just a, a group of folks from Mississippi that, that we that we knew down there. 
uh, several families, several preacher friends of mine uh, that do have COVID-19. So you pray for them. Uh, again, you want the whole list if you'll look at either on Facebook or I'll make sure I get it on YouTube here in just a few minutes. Um, the, the list from la the, the, the program, uh, the video from last night, get it out here, uh, that uh, list all of those. Several deaths, Brother uh, Adam did mention uh, the Anderson family. Mr. Roger did pass away last night, so you pray for them. Uh, that was a cousin. Uh, I know they would appreciate the prayers there. Uh, and then several others we mentioned uh, last night uh, that we know that had, had lost loved ones, so you pray for them, uh, especially. Then uh, a number of our members are, are, are needing our prayers. Brother Tony is still having problems with his sciatic nerve, uh, so you pray for him. Brother Phil was not able, uh, Jaco was not able to be with us last night because of migraines, so you pray for him. Miss Jenny has some vascular issues going on with, with uh, she had a, a, a vascular study done. Jones, I'm sorry, where did I get Johnson from, uh, Miss Miss Emma? Uh, I'm sorry, that uh, uh, Ernie Jones and Miss Barbara Jones. Uh, my, my mind's racing. I've been reading. I've been reading Wikipedia this morning. My mind's a big jumble. Um, studying for Sunday school. Uh, so do remember Miss Jenny and the, the, the study on uh, uh, the vascular study that she had done. Uh, she, the sixth, she has a, a, an appointment then. Uh, discuss that. Uh, then Brother Allgood will be having some biopsies done. Uh, do remember Mr. little Owen Matthews. Uh, he'll be having surgery. Uh, they've got surgery planned. Not sure if they're going to get to do what, you know, how all that's going to work out. So you do remember them. But like I said, there's a lot uh, uh, on our uh, prayer list from last night. And I'll, I'll, I'll upload that here in just a minute. If you want to catch it on YouTube, if you want to watch it on Facebook, it's, it's still there. Um, so do remember all those prayer requests. We are getting ready for... Uh, our Vacation Bible School, our, our Bible Club, Saturday, we'll be doing that. So that's going to be a good uh, a good uh, uh, day. So we'll, we'll enjoy that. Yes, sir, Brother Chipman, uh, Gordon's great-grandmother passed. Uh, we mentioned her last night as well. So just a lot of, a lot of prayer needs. Uh, so uh, I would encourage you uh, to either go back on Facebook or, or here in just a little bit, get on YouTube and look at our prayer time from last night. Uh, that'll list all of those as we went through our prayer list. So remember all that. So I will say this: we, we do have a need. If you have, uh, if you if you have any uh, stuffed animals, you know, like lambs or sheep, uh, that would help us in, in our uh, Bible club. Get over there in our Bible club uh, Saturday. Uh, our Bible lesson, uh, our skit. A lot of stuff's going to talk about sheep. Uh, that's going to be one of our focus. Uh, so uh, if you have any stuffed animals at home, that sheep or lambs, anything like that, uh, if you wouldn't mind us borrowing those for the day, if you'll let me know. Like I said last night, if you'll let me know and you're not able to bring them up here, uh, we'll get the shepherd to come around and gather the sheep. Amen. Pun intended. Uh, so if you'll let me know, we're going to be making some. I know we had some out in the shed. We pull those out. We got to clean those up. So it's just, uh, just for visual aids for for part of the skit and then lesson Bible lesson for for Saturday. Uh, looking forward to a good Sunday. Sunday will be our two year anniversary. So we're excited about celebrating two years uh, as pastor of Calvary Baptist Church. We're thankful for being uh, being here and being with you. So we're praying about uh, just the Lord continuing to give grace and strength as we go forward. So just a lot of things going on, a lot of things happening. We want to make sure that we're involved in doing what the Lord wants us to do. Uh, all right, we're going to be reading here in just a minute from, I'm looking at the time, from uh, Proverbs chapter number nine. So if you would uh, go ahead and get your Bible ready, get your, get your Bible out, get your morning beverage, get all comfortable in your morning chair or wherever you happen to be. Uh, Miss Katie, you just stretch out there in your bed. It'll be all right. I'm just... <laughs> Now nah, I'm picking at Miss Katie. She was up before I left this morning, uh, so uh, I know I, I know Miss Katie. I'm just picking. All right. So if you've got your stuff ready, we're going to go ahead and, and get ready to read Proverbs chapter number nine. And let me work my way around here where I can get to to where I can see what I'm reading. Uh, Proverbs chapter number nine. Uh, if you want to read read along with us, you're, you're you're welcome to do so. All right. You ready? Here we go. Wisdom 
hath builded her house. She hath hewn out her seven pillars. She hath killed her beasts. She hath mingled her wine. She hath also furnished her table. She hath sent forth her maidens. She crieth upon the highest places of the city. Whoso is simple, let him turn in hither. As for him that wandereth, wanteth understanding, she saith to him, Come, eat of my bread, and drink of the wine which I have mingled. Forsake the foolish, and live, and go in the way of understanding. He that reproveth a scorner getteth to himself shame, and he that rebuketh a wicked man getteth himself a blot. Reprove not a scorner, lest he hate thee. Rebuke a wise man, and he will love thee. Get instruction, give instruction to a wise man, and he will be yet wiser. Teach a just man, and he will increase in learning. The fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom, and the knowledge of the holy is understanding. For by me thy days shall be multiplied, and the years of thy life shall be increased. If thou be wise, thou shalt be wise for thyself, but if thou scornest, thou alone shalt bear it. A foolish woman is clamorous, she is simple, and knoweth nothing. For she sitteth at the door of her house, on a seat in the high places of the city, to call passengers who go right on their ways. Whoso is simple, let him turn in hither. And as for him that wanteth understanding, she saith to him, Stolen waters are sweet, and bread eaten in secret is, ple is pleasant. But he knoweth not that the dead are there and, and that, that her guests are in the depths of hell. What a contrast. Remember, we talked the other day, we read uh, about the uh, simple uh, man uh, going in at the way of the harlot or the way of the uh, uh, I can't remember the word they used uh, about the woman there uh, on the street corner. Uh, and it talked about the simple going after her and, uh, uh, and, and committing sin. And uh, then we see the cry in chapter 9 of, the, uh, of wisdom, crying unto the simple to turn in hither. And as for him, in verse nine, 4, as for him that wanteth understanding, she saith to him, come, eat of my bread, and drink of the wine which I have mingled, forsake the foolish and live, and go in the way of understanding. And then also even in chapter number 9, we see the contrast there at the end of the chapter a foolish woman is clamorous, she is simple and knoweth nothing. And verse 16 says this, Whoso is simple, let him turn in hither, and, and as for him that one of those understanding, she saith to him, Stolen waters are sweet, and bread eaten in secret is pleasant. But what a contrast between wisdom and the simple. All that we would seek the wisdom of God, focus our hearts on him, and allow him to work in our heart. Amen. Proverbs chapter number nine. If you have a comment there, you're welcome to leave it uh, in the uh, uh, comment section there. We'll talk about that. Uh, we'll mention it before we leave. Uh, amen. I, I just want to encourage you today. Uh, I, we have a number uh, of folks that we need to continue to remember in our prayers. Uh, it seems like uh, I, I know a lot of folks now that are beginning to be affected by COVID. Uh, so you pray for them. Uh, verse number 10, yes, Miss Emma, that is a wonderful verse. Uh, for the fear of the Lord is uh, the beginning of wisdom, and the knowledge of the holy is understanding. Amen. Boy, if we could, if we could grasp uh, that, if we could, if we could disseminate that into the masses, that'd be a great thing. Uh, all right. Uh, we're going to pray here in just a moment. We're going to send you out with, did I, see, did I see Brother Scott Kennett jump in there? Hey, Brother Scott. Uh, good to see you this morning. Uh, glad glad you're tuning in. Uh, we want to uh, pray, and then we'll send you out a little bit with uh, a little more sound doctrine. Uh, praying for you today. Hope you have a great day. Hope things are, are pleasant for you. Uh, looking forward to God just continuing to work and move in our lives, uh, and, and we're excited. Uh, there he is. Yeah, Brother Scott, uh, you, you at home this morning. Uh, praying for you and Miss Robin. All right, we are going to pray, and then I'll send you out with a little bit of the uh, of sound doctrine. Good to see you this morning. Uh, let's let's take it to the Father, Heavenly Father. We are again thankful for another day you've given us. Uh, as we 
prayed last night. There are so many on our prayer list right now, so many that we, we know of that, that are affected by COVID, so many that we know of that are affected by the loss of loved ones, so many that we, we see that, that need specific prayer, uh, have specific prayer needs. We pray for all of those. Uh, Mr. Ernie Jones, we pray for uh, Owen Matthews, we pray for Brody. Uh, Father, just so many that, that have very specific needs. I pray that you'll meet all of these, that you'll have your hand on them, that you'll be with those that have lost loved ones, you'll comfort them, that you'll be with those that are struggling with this virus, that you'll just continue to give grace and strength there. Uh, those that are that are uh, self-isolated, Father, I pray that you'll uh, be with them and their sanity, that you'll help them uh, as they wait out all of the, the, the details uh, that's going on right now. Father, I pray that you'll be with our church. Lead God and direct us. I, I know that, uh, that, but for the grace of God, they're, they're, we're right there. Uh, we're praying that you'll protect our membership, that you'll uh, just continue to give us grace, Father, that uh, you would keep that virus out of our church, that you'll just continue to bless. Father, give us wisdom to act and do those things that are pertinent and proper. Uh, I pray that you'll just continue to, to lead God and direct us. Father, help us as we grow and seek to uh, to operate in these uh, in times like these. Father, our churches look so much different than we've ever seen it. We really don't understand sometimes how we go from day to day. But Father, I pray that you'll knit our hearts together, help us to use every avenue and every opportunity that we have to uh, to be very close. And Father, I pray that you'll just continue to draw us together. We love you, uh, and, and I pray that you'll you'll just continue to uplift our hearts, give us that that spirit of of joy, uh, give us that spirit of wisdom. Father, I pray that you'll work in our hearts. Go with us today. Give us a great day. Work in our lives. We love you in Jesus' name. Amen. All right, it is good to see everybody today. We're glad that you are with us today. Uh, we're going to try to send you out with a little bit more of sound doctrine. Uh, again, this is uh, a great song uh, entitled, It'll Be a Different Story. Uh, so we'll bring you up here, let you hear a little bit more of this. Well, when Jesus lived for heaven, he told the sound like he's on top. May sound like he's got an upper hand. <laughs> One day it's going to be a different story, amen. Hey, it may be dark. It might be Friday night. It might be Saturday. But Sunday's coming. Hey, man, Sunday's coming. God bless you. Have a great day. <laughs> 